Hello guys, today I'll be doing another wonderful and interesting short flyer design using Corridor 2021. So do not forget to like, share, subscribe and also press the notification button in order to notify you when I drop my next video. So this is what we are going to be doing. So stay tuned to the end of this video. Thank you. Let's get started. So right now we are on our correct draw. Yes, okay. Let's start from the beginning. I'm going to create a new page, new. I'm going to title our flyer channels of worship. Then I'm going to leave it to the custom presets and uh, the page size is going to be a5 and we're going to leave it on landscape the orientation is going to be on landscape because we are making a church flyer design so i'm going to say okay okay this is what we're going to be using on the flyer design right now i have my background i have my location um, icon i have my facebook icon and i have my instagram icon i have the light flare i got from google and i also have my brush that i got from free Peaks. It's a site where you can download a template and that template you can extract is a vector template you can extract you can edit using your Adobe Illustrator and also using Corridor. So right now I'm going to be dragging my background you can copy the background I'm going to be dragging my background on our workspace so this is our workspace yes this is our workspace I'm going to reduce the background to fit our a5 slash. so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a right hand to fit the page so i'm going to double click so i'm going to drag this to power clip it inside the right angle Boop. done so i'm going to fix the background to the size of our flyer so i'll finish the edit content right so this is our background so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring our brush just like I said I got this brush from free picks it is a site where you can download your vector file so I'm going to drag it here in our workspace now this is a JPEG a PNG file I can't I can't edit this. All I need to do now for me to edit is go and trace it. I'm gonna trace it just to get a vector of it. So I'll go to bitmap, I'll come to quick trace, then I'll trace it. Boom, it's done. So so I'm going to delete this. We'll be using our vector. This is our vector. So I'm gonna bring it into our background good so I'm gonna bring it into our background to fit the page so right now we have this we have this brush on the background so what do I need to do I'm going to bring our pictures we'll be using just two pictures on our design so I'll drag this on our corridor you can also copy I have this picture good i have this picture so i'm going to increase the picture boom yep i have this now i'm going to drag this picture to into our corridor our workspace good so let me just reduce this place good you can select the two not and reduce it so now we have our two pictures in our workspace but meanwhile i need to change i don't like this white background i want to change the white background to something else make sure that your colors are uniform when you're designing so uh, i'm going to drag this background you can also get this background from the free pics yeah the free pics where you download your vector template so I'll drag here 
I have this background so what I need to do now I'm going to power clip this background into this uh, brush I'll, I'll just drag this hold down right click drag it into then release it it will bring a dialog box telling me if I want to power clip and I'll say ok boom so I have this now the background is power clip so I can edit the content by right clicking edit content so boom let me adjust I want to get the bright side of the background fit into our brush good so we have this so I'll bring okay meanwhile before we bring um, the picture into the workspace we need to get our content okay so I'm going to open the Microsoft Word so I can copy the information for the flyer all right this is the content this is going to be the information we'll be using on the design now I'm going to copy the name of the church this is the name of the church I'm going to copy it Control C on your keyboard go to your correct draw use the test tool click on the test tool then drop then paste you want to maintain yes we can maintain for now you can use maintain right okay I'm gonna bring this here good I'll be using a font called Metropolis it's a free font that you can also download on Google so I'll be using this free font called Metropolis I'll change the color to white now I have it so I'm gonna break this wall I'm gonna break the centers into two so I'll break it from here sorry I'll break it from here then I've got I'm gonna press ctrl key on my keyboard to separate the two words yes so I have it so I want to justify you can press L clicking the two lines and press L now I'm gonna make this the royal family boat good I'm gonna drag to fit here so this is the church name we have the church name already we have the church name so I can select it to reduce good so we have the church name I'm going to my resource file I'm going to bring in our logo so this is the logo I'll bring in the logo here good now we have the logo of the church here I'm going to copy the theme of the program channel of my worship open our correct draw paste here Boom. maintain it can say okay but we're going to change the font later so this is the, the theme of the program I'm going to change it to white I'm going to break it into two lines then I'm going to cut off this of my I'll cut it off drop it here first so we want to design this channel and worship independently so I'm going to press ctrl k on my keyboard to break apart so I will increase these channels also increase this worship yeah increase so I'm bringing the picture in now yeah so this is our picture I'm going to trim it down you can select your shape tool, select the, the two edges drag them up to cut off the parts you don't like the same thing applies to this place good so we have our picture fit in now we are going to bring this other picture into So I'm going to do the same. I'll click shape 2. Good. So we have let's trim this one. Let's trim this very well so it fits. Yeah, we have this so we'll trim this too. Good. So right now we have our two picture but it looks as if this one is bigger than this so we have to reduce a bit then fit it into our page 
good. Good. So we have to speak two pictures. What we need to do now is I'm going to break this off my I'm going to break these two words, break them, control K on your keyboard to break them apart, then bring them together, then bring these two together, bring them in here. Good. So we have the channel of my worship. Yeah, so I'm going to be changing the fonts. I'm going to be changing the font style to I'll be using a, a font style called Bridgestone. Okay, this is a font Bridgestone Wood. You can get that. If you like the font, you can get that on Google. It's a free font. Yeah, I'm going to reduce, I'm going to close the space. So, I have this also. I'm going to be changing the worship to the same font. Bridge tone. Yep. So, I'm going to close in the space. If you want to close the space, you can click on your shape tool. Click on the edge of the font, then drag to close the space. So, yeah. Yeah. Good. So, we now have channels of worship. I'm going to be changing these two fonts too to the same bridge tone drag in drag in so good we now have the theme of the program channels of my worship so what I gonna do now I'm going to I'm going to my resource file my resource file I am going to bring in my what all right so I'm going to bring in this background this very background into our workspace yes I'm gonna drop it yeah so I'm gonna use this background we are going to be using this background as a color on the channels so I'm going to right click drag I'm going to right click drag to power clip into the channel so I'll release the right click boom so it will bring a dialog if I want to power clip I'll say yes power clip so now we have this background fit into our test so what I'm going to do is to edit the content of the test I'll right click on the content and so let's edit clip so I'm gonna fit this yeah fit this so now finish so our test is carrying the 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 color of the background yeah it's kind of so I'm gonna remove the white color so I have my channels on I have the background inside the test so what I gonna do now is to create a little right angle for this a little right angle I'll bring it here increase it good uh, reduce so I'm going to make the edges of this right angle to be curved so I'm going to come to this place type point zero nine so I have this right angle edges curved so I'm going to be changing the color of the the outline of the right angle to be white I'll just come to my color and right click so I have the color of this right angle white Good. So we have the color of the right angle white. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a shadow on. I'm going to add shadow on this channel. So I come to my shadow, click on the shadow, click on the test on the channel, then 
drag this. Good, it's too much. I'm gonna reduce. Good. So right now I have my black shadow on the channel. So I'm gonna reduce the I'm gonna reduce the shadow. Good, reduce. Fine. So same thing, I'm gonna add shadow on the worship. Click on the worship, add your shadow. Good. So I'll reduce the opacity of the shadow. Reduce these two. So we have our channels of my worship. We we'll have it ready. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the I'm going to select all these now i'm gonna once this selected i'm gonna click again to create to bring out this kind of um shape on the bring this kind of shape so what i'll do now to bring this very icon here so what i'll do now is to come here drag it up i want to make the email the the information the right up here slant good so so i have the challenge of my worship slants now so good i can bring everything down a bit good so this is the channel of our wash uh, my worship ready so what we're going to do right now is to bring in our dates and also the address so I'll go to my information here. The date is 26th June. Bring in the date in. So copy the date, copy the time also. So copy. Go to corridor and paste. Maintain. You can maintain, but we're going to change the font later. So what I'm going to do is change, remove this th, then break. By pressing enter the same thing by pressing enter good so I have my dates then I'm gonna cut this off click here good so I'm going to press ctrl K on my keyboard to break them apart okay so I'm gonna be using a font called microgram DB EST you can download it to on bubble micro sorry select micro ground yeah I press enter so I have this font if you like the font you can also download you can download it on Google good sorry yeah so I'm gonna put the TH26. Put the TH here in capital letter. So good. I have this now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a small right angle on this and we're going to make it red. So this is a right angle. So I'm gonna make it red here. Then page to bring the piece right angle down. Page and you hold on shift and page down. So I'll do that. I'm going to remove the outline by right clicking on this here. So I have my dates red. Good. Good. So this is our date. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to bring it in here then shift page up to bring it up reduce so I'm going to change the color of the date to be white same here white same here white so now we have the color but we want to make this right angle us blood we want to make it a kind of dark red so i'm going to click on this eye drop click on it 
come here and select maybe some select a color from this place select it by clicking it so i'll now come here and click on this so so we now have this so we're gonna put our time Gonna bring our time in. I remove that, and we're going to be using the same micro gram. That good. Now we have our time. We're gonna bring it here and also change it to white. So I'm gonna create a tiny right and go to just a small one good a small one a small one good now bring it to the center good so we have a little right angle and i'm going to be changing it I'm going to be changing the color I'm going to be changing the color to orange Good, then remove the outline. So we have this ready. We're going to shift, select the this date and shift it up a bit. Good. Yeah, so right now we have our dates. So we're going to put our address. We're going to put our address. So copy the address here. Copy and go to our color draw. Click on the test tool. Click and paste. Yes, that's don't worry maintain. So we are going to change our fonts. We're going to be using a metropoly. Good now. So this is our complete address. Here we have our complete address. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna press Ctrl K to break them apart so we can treat them independently. But meanwhile, I'm going to create a right angle tool here and make the edges to be round. We can use 0 0.092. We have this. We can change it to white. Good. So it allows the call the, the test to be visible. I'm going to select everything here, drag it, reduce it. Then I'm going to make the name of the judge very bold. You can change the metropolis. We have different styles of the metropolis. You can make it bolder. So I'm be using this. Then I can bring everything into the white right angle. Good. Then page shift page up to bring our font up. So this is the church address. So I'm going to bring, I'll be bringing the location icon and also i'll be bringing the social media icons so what i need to do now is go to my resource file get my location bring them bring them bring them bring them drag okay we have our YouTube and we have our location. I'm going to reduce this. I'm going to reduce. So we have. We have our location icon. So our YouTube channel, we are going to reduce it and bring it here. To bring this down a bit. Reduce it. So. We're gonna bring this to so those
Now what we need to do is to write the names of the two pictures we have here. So we'll go to our profile, our information and copy the two names. Copy the two names. Them. Good. So I'll be using Metropolis. Good. Good. Break them together. So I'll break them so I can treat them independently. So I'll make this just this bold. Good. Then I'll reduce everything. Good. I'm gonna make this one smaller, maybe use seven, then I'm gonna spread it by clicking on the shape tool and spread. In case you make small, in case you make error on it, you can actually undo the same here. I'm going to be breaking them independently. I'm going to be using a bold one in front of Metropolis and also reduce this to hourly seven, then spread it. Good. So what we need to do, we are going to create a shadow on this white rectangle where we have the address. Come here, click on the shadow, drag it. Good. So this is our flyer design. Meanwhile, we're going to increase this. I'm going to increase it by clicking the side. Increase. Increase one. We need to make the team very visible. So we have this and I'm going to bring my light flare here. I'm gonna drag this into correct draw. You can also copy. Bring it here. Then here you can actually reduce it. have our light flare so we are going to change the blend mode of this just the way you have it in photoshop you can actually change a blend mode in corridor too so i'm going to come on this transparency click on this transparency come to this normal here open it and i'll just click add so you see it makes the light flare more brighter so what i need to do is Copy this here again, then reduce it, reduce it to a tiny one. Good. That's good. So bring this down a bit. So what we need to do now is to what we need to do now is to change the color of our picture to a grayscale. So what you need to do click on the picture here go to effect go to adjust come to hue and saturation i'm going to reduce the hue color i'm going to reduce it yep so we have this i'm going to do the same to this other picture 
go to sorry click on the picture go to effect adjust come to hue and saturation so we're going to use the same setting and said okay wow so this is a flyer design made in corridor i'm going to increase the logo a bit just increase it so someone can see the logo well good so this is a flyer design done in corridor please do not forget to like share subscribe and also click on the notification button in order to notify when i drop my next video thank you and god bless you